right, everybody, we're fresh off the webinar for uh, June 13th, and there's not really a whole lot going on in the market right now. Uh, okay, of course, we're well out of the sweet spot. It's about 8 o'clock Eastern time, so uh, New York traders are long home. Uh, Asian traders are, are starting to file in and, and work the market. You can see here that, that there is this support line coming off of the lows here from the uh, uh, Sunday and Monday session and moving up. There's not really much of a, a trading lane developing here, but there is this uh, what would be called an expanding triangle starting to form. Uh, you can also call this a megaphone type of pattern where uh, you can see the, the market is increasing is in, in volatility as it's moving out. This is generally speaking a, a bearish formation, uh, but we're just going to have to watch and see what happens. Um, I am still looking at this 9700 level as posing some opportunities to trade. I think uh, you know we've just got to be careful taking trades there because we do have uh, some possible support there, meaning the market could spike down through 9700 just by a little bit and then start to move up. So I don't know at this point if I'd feel comfortable uh, just doing this as an automatic trade, but taking a short uh, as the market crosses through 9700 again, uh, capitalizing on the fact that the market tends to push through uh, even numbers, uh, initially taking a very close stop right up here uh, just, uh, just into this trading lane here. Let me show you exactly what I mean. Uh, here, right there is about 9700. There's about a 25 pip stop. So uh, short as the market crosses down through 9700. Uh, stop of 25 pips uh, and looking for a target down here around 96.75 again uh, so the target around 25 pips as well now again this is why I'm saying this is not a good trade for for just to set on automatic pilot and let go this is something that you're going to want to see and, and you really want to focus in on the sweet spot make sure that this is either happening between 3 and 4 a.m. Uh, as early as 7 a.m. Eastern Time, but then definitely 9 to 11.30 uh, a.m. So 3 to 4, 7 a.m. or 9 to 11. On the top side, you know, I really don't have much of a trade here. This angled line you can see the market is, has just broken through uh, and is kind of just pushing its way sideways. Um, I am looking at a support zone as the market runs across here just above 97.50. Um, but you can see that the market has popped above that in the past and moved right back down. So I'm just like I said, there's not a lot going on. The market is is really kind of developing what it wants to do here. I think if we can get the market above 97.50, there will be a momentum move. But I prefer to wait for some kind of flag pattern uh, like this or a break above this high. So if the market really does get going, uh, the long trade that I'm looking at uh, is going to be long above 1.9782. Uh, with a stop just below 97.50, uh, so about 28 pips away, uh, and of course the initial target of, of 23 pips with letting the remainder go.